Okay, so this is going to be a little run through as to how we can use Blackboard to make timetables and how they can be used for assessment and how they can even be used for class sessions. This gives us a lot more control. So I'm in my temporary module, uh, my play box, and this is a section on tests and quizzes. And I've got a variety here of uh, half made up quizzes to uh, help various people do their, their exams online this year. Um, and then in this other tab which is exactly the same I'm going to show you <clears throat> excuse me I'm going to show you um, a tool link and it's basically calendar okay now I've got this as a timetable here so if I click on this this is now despite this being in my uh, in my my practice module it's actually got every module archived or not that I as a staff member am enrolled on as an instructor and you can toggle them on and off and so for the most part staff would have tons uh, students would only have those that they're currently enrolled on they wouldn't they wouldn't necessarily have the archived runs or anything like that um, you've got the institutional one they have their personal one because they can use blackboard calendars to make their own appointments the institutional one can be for things like inspirational lectures so if we stick with this these green ones here are things that I've added to the calendar now as an instructor you can click on the plus and you can add anything you like and you can add it to any calendar you like of a module that you're enrolled on now I could call this uh, an, an event that you want them to go to so block zero thing you could do it as a you know lecture two or whatever it's going to be okay uh, and you can give it a time when it ends and do like a normal meeting you can repeat it if you were doing a whole module timetable you can describe what it is um, you can't put in links directly you can put the URL into the box so if it was a collaborate room a teams event an online webinar of some sort you could paste the URL in there and say please copy the URL below and put it into your address bar and it will take you there same kind of thing you often get on reference forms or reference emails that sort of thing uh, once it's there uh, like pick a random day the 25th of February and and save that there we go it's appeared there now if I put anything in there you could click it and away we go as a staff member I could delete it as a student I would see it as just what it is and I can't mess with it now what's key here is that these that's electron homeostasis these are assignments these are some of these tests and I'll quickly show you what I've done to make that appear and how we can make it useful for students uh, so if I go to edit the test options I've already built the thing and edit the test options and what I do is give it a due date now giving an assessment a due date makes it appear in the course calendar okay so it's got a due date now here's the key thing uh, and I won't run through this with you or maybe I will uh, so 17 so the due date is going to be 1725 the visibility is going to be now 1722 so appear a moment ago and it will disappear at 1724 okay so here's the key thing and hopefully the clock won't change over so it is visible there for them to do if I now refresh the calendar the Excel test is there okay and it's going to disappear at 1725 so that's the the due date so that's when they can do it okay so as we roll around 1725 now here's the thing in the calendar if it is an assessment you can click on it there you can mark it from within it if I very quickly change to the student preview go to the timetable now it's not there because the due the, the visibility date was 1724 I had to give it a due date of a minute or so past so you do the due date being 930 on the, the morning uh, after 24 hours but if you make the visibility date just before it will become invisible so they can't do it from the calendar and it uh, disappears from the calendar so they know that it's been and gone they don't see it sitting there and think they need to do it the other thing you can do is when you click on as a student a calendar invite that is an assessment you can go straight to the attack the test and you can begin the thing you can do this with an assignment so it can be a normal piece of coursework you can do it with anything that has a due date the due date makes it appear and if you control the visibility times around that due date you can control whether it appears on the calendar 
or not. Because of course, if you just put the due date, it will only appear on the day that it's supposed to end. It won't necessarily show, uh, or it won't show for the 24 hours that it's supposed to be there. So if you make it a visibility for that time, uh, and then you can even make an event of that 24 hour period, you can make these things visible. Now, the fact that they can toggle the calendars on and off means that we can show uh, all of the modules for all of the assessments, but the student themselves will only see those that apply to them due to their module enrollments. And you can do that with a lot of stuff. So if you create the events, the, the lectures, put in the URLs, you can do it for reminders, you can do it for seminars, workshops, any kind of event, and you can use the course calendar to do it. You can even export the calendars. Uh, if we just jump down here to the timetable again, you can get an external calendar link. There you go, and it's for the ones that are selected. So at the moment it'd just be human anatomy physiology and infection and disease, and you could then put it into your Outlook calendar. So it appears there for you, nice and easy. This is already built into Blackboard. It's something we can easily use and it would be far simpler for students because they'll only see the modules they're enrolled on, not all the modules that they're associated with like we are. See what you think.